Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Poppy Syntax, and today, who today's a double! <laughs> Today is a double. Today's been a long day. We woke up early this morning. We went live and covered Miss Amber Lynn Reed's uh, latest upload, which was, was a thing that happened. Um, then I went to work, then I worked, now I've come home, and we're going to be looking at uh, Miss Foodie Beauty, Miss Chantal Marie, and her last three hours worth of live streams. Now, you'll notice this is a recorded video, not a live stream. And you may ask, Zach, why are we not taking the live streams live? Well, you see, editing Zach stepped in and has done us all a favour by essentially cutting out the best and or worst bits, depending on how you see it, uh, of the last three hours worth of uh, foodie content and condensing it down to about half an hour's worth. And that's at normal speed. We're obviously going to watch it a little bit sped up. So, buttons. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I have the videos all prepared. We will be reacting to post-facial stream, which I have to admit is a fucking hilarious title. However, caveat, I'm a little disappointed because she uses Lush products here and I would have actually enjoyed seeing the facial as opposed to post-facial. Giggle. Um... <laughs> We then also received the Nashville Chicken and Chat. Um, spoilers, I only listened to like the first hour and just cut the best out of that. I, look, I'm sick of hearing secular, secular arguments and conversation and that's fine. And, you know, we, editing Zach reached a limit. So we've got, we've got 30 minutes worth of content and we're going to, we're going to have a look. We're going to react and do all of those things. So... With all of that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so with all clip shows, we are sped up this time to 1.5 times speed because it's a little slow um, and that's okay. I decided to get a little bit more comfortable because we unfortunately didn't get the facial with Foodie today, uh, which is fine. So I thought I might oblige while, uh, while doing this reaction. And here we go. Hi, everybody. Hello. No, there's nothing going on tonight. It's tomorrow night. Remember? Tomorrow's Wednesday. This might, this might be a bit much. And throwing the white balance off a little bit. And burning. <laughs> Let's continue. Or it's tonight Wednesday. No, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. So I have a hand cream. My skin is so dry. You guys, I can't mm -hmm. be on long, like an hour. Because I Spoilers, it was three. I have some, um, uh, it's not Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? <sighs> Yeah, it's the same man. Yeah, so what I did so far is my skin is red. Does anyone have any suggestions for red skin? So here's the problem with my skin, all right? Okay, tell me. You saw how crusty it was yesterday. Like, there was a thing there. I think it's gone. <laughs> so I just used a Lush Beauty Mask Sleep Mask, and you leave it on, and it's uh, not sleep mask, but, like, face mask. And it has scrubby things in it. So you leave it on, and then you scrub, and it got rid of all the friggin' dead skin. Except there was skin here. So I always have eyebrows with dead skin. Look, I know nothing about, like, skincare, makeup, whatever, whatever. I use Lush, I understand, not, like, people are not fans of it, fragrance users, particularly. Totally understand. I think, find what works for you, right? Um, I think the, the product she's talking about is a mechanical exfoliant, I think that's the right term, I don't know, um, which does kind of, like, aggravate dead skin cells off the face, I guess, but I would still be, like, kind of concerned if any form of skincare was giving me, like, redness or swollenness in the face. I would probably not use it. I use my lip scrub on my eyebrows. So my lip scrub is mostly coconut oil and sugar. So um, put turmeric okay. on it. That won't make it orange. <laughs> I mean, really? It was a good mask. My skin is really soft. The only thing... Oh, that was a comment about turmeric that I missed. And it's hilarious. Because whenever I use any kind of mask, I have very sensitive skin. It doesn't take mm. much for my skin to turn bright red, like even just touching it. See? <laughs> cool. So my recommendation, again, would be to, if you find a product that aggravates your skin, just don't continue to use it. <laughs> oh, right, it gets. So I have to, um, I have some, like, rosy spots here, 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 here. So um, what I did, I used the mask, and then I put cream. I put my Lush moisturizer, it's called the Skin Shangri-La. And then I... It's a good product. I enjoy that product from Lush. I don't use it, but I, I yeah, I have in the past and do enjoy it. This is magnetic liner for magnetic lashes and i can't i have to get some coconut oil to take it off because even after washing my face i still have glitter and lines like mascara lines uh no magnetic lash liner so you know 
Aloe vera works good for redness. Yeah, no, I don't want like blush everywhere, you know, like all over my face. Hi, Ruthie, it's hot. My face is blush. hot from being, doesn't like being exfoliated yeah. and everything else. So, anyways, so, and then I shaved my entire face. Like, salicylic acid? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Assisting in exfoliation without the mechanical element. So, like, without the salt or the, you know, coffee beans or rinds or whatever. Is that in right? hair and mustache hair, like for real. Comments, and like, let my, me know. my fuzz on my face is a little bit more fuzzy than I like. So, and then there was like a random cheek hair. Like, what the fuck? One cheek hair. It was like a little hair. So I, <laughs> I have this thing I mean, that I, I got that. from FabFitFun before. And it's like, sounds like a vib vibrator thing. And you just like take all the hairs off and it like seemed to, seemed to have worked. So, but then the biggest task to come is my legs and feet. They, it's like, oh my God, I have so much dry skin. I can see it. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, and every night for the past few nights, I've been creaming my decolletage area. <laughs> decolletage. Oh my god, so ridiculous! It keeps me busy. It keeps me busy. Is that four syllables or three syllables? Busy, like doing these things to myself. Decolletage. And so, and I've been like, I need to clean my room. I need to get my room all clean, my bathroom spick and span, so I don't mind spending a good hour in there. Because what I'm gonna do is put my face mask all over my legs, and then I'm rewinding to the bathroom comment. Did did it get snaked? Did the drain get snaked, or is it still backing up with water? Not an important question, just trying to figure out the timeline. Also, face mask on legs. Huh. Interesting. Them. I'm going to shave, and I'm going to cream the hell out of everything. Then I'm going to paint my toenails. Creamy. Then, my ankles are getting so skinny, I can see the bone on my ankle now. I'll show you. I'll show you after. I'm not showing okay. you my pre-pedicure legs and feet. I'm good. So I have all that to do. Do you know how long each leg is going to take? Why am I even doing this? Like, like he's even probably going to... No, he's going to care. Like, come on. Let me feel right now. Let me feel my legs. Oh, okay. No. All right. They're still kind of smooth, but... I'm going to do... like They're going to be so much smoother. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, so... <sighs> don't don't know what you mean. I'm Al Natural. I do not know what you mean. I have lip gloss on me. <sighs> I can't find cherry lipstick. I ordered lube. <laughs> and poopery. <laughs> I I am definitely gonna need to go back to my usual grinds of videos and and oh, I, yeah. I need to like reinvent my channel because my life is just like oh. I just have a real big feeling that from this point on my life is just not gonna be the same like it's just not gonna be the same and in so many ways why and I don't really know what to do about that like with my channel um I mean I have a lot of ideas so okay can't wait to see the content Oh, I still. I, I, as long as it's not three hours worth of live streams, I'm here for it. Everyone is entertaining. All mukbangs. Yeah, I'm entertaining because I'm a friggin' train wreck right now. <laughs> Do you know what? I kind of like it. No, not really. It, it gives me anxiety. But at the same time, I'm like going through so many changes, like internally. I don't know how to explain it. Sexual awakening. You know what, guys? I think like we all go through changes like that, right? Like think of every stage of your life that you've ever been super excited about, you know? I mean, the most recent massive change to my life was like acknowledging the fact that I had health concerns that I needed to address both like mentally and physically. So that was a big thing for me. Um, I wasn't necessarily excited about it. I was daunted by it a lot of the time. Like it's a big task, right? Like you're addressing a lot of things that you kind of just live day to day. So, I mean, excitement, apprehension, I think is a better word for me. These legs are a daunting task. Oh my God. But once it's done, I'm going to have cute little dainty feet. Because I'm my skinny ankle queen now. <laughs> okay. You know what, should I? He hasn't messaged me today yet. So, like, we're supposed ah. to get together tomorrow, probably tomorrow evening. I think he did work today. And I don't know. He just hasn't messaged me. I don't want to message him first. Like, I was probably just going to wait. You're just living your life. Yeah, I'm just living my life. And it's a mess. Spoilers. There is a lot of talk like this. <laughs> so, prepare yourself. Feel free to grab a snack, a beverage. Enjoy right now trust me like i feel like it's a mess because my place is so messy because i'm just like too overwhelmed and excited and just like too overwhelmed with like feelings and emotions and to just like do mundane things <laughs> you know it really sucks uh yeah becky b's world it's definitely gonna be a different direction like i just feel i just feel yeah. it you know okay can't yeah wait. i'm not gonna message him if he doesn't message me i'm gonna okay, okay if he doesn't message me i'll message him tomorrow like no you know what i'm not even gonna message him but what if he's what if he's saying the exact same thing what if he's saying I'll wait for her to message me because maybe he's insecure and like, or doesn't want to, you know, maybe he's thinking the exact same thing. He hasn't messaged me since last night at like 10. We said good night. 
I have to think some men are not good at messaging back. But then like, do you ever think like, I don't know how, I don't know how men think because it's like, do you guys think if you're thinking of a girl, do you think, oh, I want to text with her all day? Or you like, you don't think of texting because like, if he's thinking about me and really wants to see me, wouldn't he message me? You know, well, wow. casual. I don't know. I guess. Yeah, it kind of makes me feel like, why didn't he text me? I'm trying not to overthink it, but it's been, like, since yesterday, like, 10 p.m. But like, if he had to work and yeah. has, like, a life and stuff, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't want to be annoying. But then if he's going to get annoyed this easy, if he is annoyed, then I just would rather just move on. He worked today and getting his place ready for you. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's, like, just, you know, too busy. I, uh... <clears throat> I can't tell right now. It's driving me nuts. I hate that. This is the part of this shit I hate. Always going in with the intention of never complicating things, and they're always so complicated. You know, I'd be excited to hear from you. I don't think so, Louis. I don't think so. I think you may be just trying to make me feel better, but you may be complicating I don't it don't yourself. So. <laughs> if he was, he would text me, right? I'm always turned off by guys who like are too mushy, but then when they're not, I get mad. <laughs> you guys ever do that? <laughs> no. Anyways, I don't want this to turn into that kind of stream because it's probably annoying. I've been well, focusing on something else all day. Like, I've been pretty good. I didn't text him at all. <clears throat> he was turned off by a text. He can eat shit. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Send him a pic of my big bum. Men are visual. Send him a cute pic. Don't text him. Send him a fart video. Yeah, that's what... I know, and that's what I'm afraid of, Victoria. Like, annoying him. But it's like, at the same time, it makes me want to text him more to see if he does get annoyed by that. Because then it's just like... I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> Anyways. What if he's the kind of guy, like, he just texts me tomorrow and says, are you still coming over tonight? Like, what do you think about that? Oh, wait, I can just roll this off my eyeballs. Oh, no huh. wonder. I'm never wearing eyelash glue I, again in my I don't, life. I don't know where the line of logic is here. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I'm just here for the ride. See, the thing is, is like, I don't know anything about this person. So I can't tell if that those are their regular texting habits. But you know what? Like, it's the male brain. Can you not just be Creamy. considerate? I'm not saying all men are like this, but some are. Like, can you not just be considerate of the fact that you're initiating a new conversation with... A female so you should be aware of your phone like you should be like oh my god i don't think and i don't want to be the type to wait for people to text me but i really like like this guy i mean okay. i'm not i don't like him as a person i don't know him but i'm attracted to him so it sucks right. and it's annoying okay now it's coming off but sorry it might be gross for you but sounds like a new thing anyways if it doesn't work out with him i'm definitely probably messing that douchebag back and saying sorry let's let's do it right now because i need i He'll probably just, at the drop of a hat, do it, if I said. Yeah, I want someone who's like... <sighs> but then again, it is just a hookup. But I kind of got mixed signals. Like, he said uh -oh. he wants, like, it ongoing. Why am I overthinking this? With like, uh, Anyway, let's just... A very good question. And I don't want to be always the one to be like, hey, do you want to do something? And please do yourself a kindness and find a way to, to clean this uh, magnetic, like, lash line off without using spit because i probably want to do it more than him too oh no 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 see i need somebody who can keep up with me i can't find a man to do this what if he's bees in another cooter that's a possibility i don't think so maybe bees in another cooter huh right i'm not gonna see that's the thing I'm not going to ask him. Oh my god, my hamburger eyes are more... Maybe you should. Maybe you should be, like, open and transparent with, with like, casual sexual ex escapades so you're aware of, like, you know, statuses and testing and, um, like, all kinds of things. Yeah, that. You know what I mean, guys? That's the thing. Well, Am I allowed to ask that? Are you having sex with anyone else? Yes, you are allowed. And I would encourage it. I've been really enjoying, like, talking to different... Asking and figuring out the answer, that is. So that way you know. You know the risks, and you know the statuses, and you know going into it what, you know, could potentially end up. You know, during the day and evening, I have my regular conversations with you guys and live streams, and then by night, I have my world of... Uh, the night world. I'm going to set up my room. Oh, yeah. Okay, if this doesn't, you know what, even if it does work out, there's no harm in having, like, something cyber with people. Because the thing is, I can't believe I'm saying this, what's wrong with this? Didn't you talk about cyber the other day? Didn't we have to talk about that the other day in a live stream? A couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Maybe. 
mm. these days. Anyways, set up my room all nice with candles and like different lingeries and get like my ring light out, different pictures. You know, I can get like, just have to. Didn't we try doing this? We did an OnlyFans, didn't we? We tried doing this, didn't we? I'm very confused. Lots of boys, yeah. I am. I am too. I'll probably still go crawling back to that Italian guy. I don't think I could develop feelings for that Italian guy anyways. He's so not boyfriend material. And that's that's probably what he likes. That's not what I'm you're sure after, I'm sure the right though. woman he is, maybe. I don't know. But... That's kind of the thing with having encounters with older, more mature men. Like, because mm -hmm. young men, younger men are just more about the sex. And older men are just... You know, they'll have a glass of wine with you and you guys can converse about things. They're on the same level, like, in life. We're not, supposed to be. You know what I mean? Not always. Yeah, I said I not, wasn't looking for that. I know, but then I keep saying things like that. So, like, subconsciously, am I looking for more? I guess it's just, I don't know. I think consciously you're looking for more at this stage. Anyways, I just, I'm driving myself nuts and I'm driving you guys nuts. So, well, maturity matters more than age. Yeah, you know, for sure. And it's not like I've been with, like, younger guys because I... Never really have. Like, it's usually always men my age so far in life. Pretty sh pretty much. Or older. But not usually. I've never really been with a younger guy like that. And that Italian guy was younger. <laughs> I'm scared to try on the lingerie. Eat a gummy and listen to The Doors. Yeah, The Doors is pretty good make-out music, too. Like, it depends gummy. on what kind of doing it we're going to be doing. If it's like, you know, like... <clears throat> it depends on the kind. If it's like, you know, slow zombie, fast zombie... Lady Gaga rain on me when he gives you a natural. <laughs> oh my god. No. Nobody's going near my face with that. Ooh, Animal Crossing. Yes. You'll probably like that. Let, let us know how you like it. I think lesson here is... Editing Zach made some choices. <laughs> don't get so excited. Like, I always do this. I'm like full of energy and excitement. And it's annoying. Yes. Like, it needs to be harnessed. Well... It needs to be harnessed so bad. Not always, but... Yes, yeah. I am super focusing on my health issues. Very much so. Where? It's tomorrow, Wednesday the 7th. I have an appointment to get a skin biopsy done. Oh god, I have to do all that tomorrow, so I better shave my legs today. Oh. Anyways, guys, I need to cook a HelloFresh meal, I think. I really, really, really don't feel like it. Well, well it's good for you, though. I have to clean the dishes first. But they have to be done, right? Oh my yes. god, I don't, I don't want to. Clean space, clean mind. I can't mind. chill out. I can't chill. Oh, I can't okay. chill and focus on something. All right. Hi. <laughs> Which one? What day of the week is it today? Tuesday? I need to take my pills. For you, yes. I mean, I don't have a lot of, like, actual prescription pills, but I have a lot of supplements I'm probably not even supposed to take. <laughs> Too bad! I'm just kidding. That should be fine. <laughs> Wait, it I should take be fine. Natural vitamin, multivitamin that's made with, like, superfoods, and it's, like, you have to take four capsules a day, and they're pretty big. Seems um, like a lot. I like just, like, one capsule a day, you know? I'm going to um, get off for a little bit, and then I'll come back and, like, cook and stuff. I started cleaning and I was just like, I lost motivation so quick. And I was like, uh, I don't want to cook. I hate, like, for some reason, I hate being in the kitchen right now. Like, I don't like the kitchen. I don't like it. Like, right now, I just like this area. With the table here and, you know. I, so we ordered Living food. room. And I don't know how much I'm going to eat. But it's stuff that sounded good to me, which is like, normally, like, junk food hasn't been agreeing with me the same way. So I ordered this, this place I've never heard of. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like Nashville style hot chicken. And oh, I got okay. Pizza and I a tender's meal. So you get like three tenders. Uh -huh. I got mine medium. Okay. And his is mild. And I got cheese fries and mac and cheese. And I'm going to have some bites from each one. Great. And they have this like their own sauce and dip sauce and some pickles. Uh, yeah, Becky B. I'm just going to chill. And if he really wants to, he'll get back to me, you know. I mean, I don't know what, what's going on in his life. I really don't know anything about this guy. I don't know what he does in his spare time. Uh -huh. I ha What did I have today? I ordered out today too again. I ordered out like twice today. But the rest of what I ate, where did it go? I have a garbage bag here because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> Since I'm in here a lot. I, yeah, I mean, I'm okay. I just, uh, I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, I took some edibles too early. I don't know, like if I'm, I just huh. like how I feel on them. Like I feel like another dimension of my mind is opened up. You know what I mean? Um, I love fried pickles. Yeah, I got my hopes up. You know, I shouldn't do that. Because you never know. Like, I don't know. Maybe he'll message me back. I mean, we'll see. If he doesn't message me back, like I said, by tomorrow, that's it. That's all. So I do uh, feel a little disappointed because that, but that's my fault. I shouldn't. I shouldn't overreact and I shouldn't get so, like, what the hell, you know? It's just like... Well, but, like, yeah. sue me for being excited about, like, hooking up with a cute guy. Like, you know? 
Oh, it's just like <laughs> over so Anyways, it's from it's just this drama in my life, but I don't know. I know. That's what I'm thinking, like maybe I texted him too much. But I just got an impression from him that he wouldn't mind that. Like just I don't know, when we met, he was just so like touchy feely and super nice and friendly and like gentlemanly, like like he likes spending time with me. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. I'll just worry about it when it happens. I'll see what happens. Okay. So and I'm still in my cat's pajamas. I just don't feel like like doing anything today. You know? Or yes. maybe this weekend. <laughs> No, I'm not, I, I think I'm just gonna like. <sighs> yeah, I can't control. I can't control the situation, so there's just no point in, in bother, getting bothered by it. You know? Exactly. We're supposed to hang out tomorrow night, and if he doesn't message me, then no. He might message me last minute tomorrow and be like, "Hey, you still coming over?" I don't know. But he well, has been getting back to me, but he didn't message me all day today. So it's just kind of like it's confusing because yeah, we're well, technically is. just like we're not in a relationship, and I, it's not even we're not even trying no. to be. So he really doesn't no. have to text me, you know? No, at all. I don't know. I just. Mm -hmm. Ooh, our food is on the way. Don't oh, that wasn't him. <laughs> He's actually busy. That's what I mean. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you guys are the worst at responding. It pisses me off. Okay. You're turning your casual hookup into a relationship. Yeah. In your head. Maybe, I hope he doesn't have many women on the go. He doesn't seem like, like when I met him, he didn't seem like that type at all. Like he just. But how long did you spend? He might just really suck at answering text messages. <laughs> when I was at texting love interest, I only saw Really? I'm trying to it's, Maybe it's a guy thing. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, where's the food? <laughs> We're just gonna wallow in food. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> Chicken tenders, they're fried, right? Yes. Could you imagine if I- I'm not phoning him. That sounds so de Oh my god. He would probably be annoyed with me. I don't know what's going on. So, if- No, he doesn't know my name. So, or he- I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he did I, somehow. I have no clue. You know? I'm okay. I'll be okay. And even if he does ghost me, I'll still be okay. I mean, I have to move on, right? It's just... But, <clears throat> well, I can yeah. see meeting people online, I'm gonna have... If I'm gonna do this, or, like, just, like, talking to people or getting back out there and, like, the dating scene or whatever, I have to be extra aware, like, have a lot of self-awareness and a lot of patience because that... And then bees <laughs> with you guys, yeah. It's gonna be, like, this is gonna happen probably a lot. You're gonna get certain oh, no. to a certain level with somebody... And then just like that, they can ghost you. It happens. It happens. And I have to just, like, well, not get too excited. Yes. I'm, I'm going to have no dingleberries whatsoever. I sh Like, I shaved my face. I shaved my face for this asshole. Oh, my God. If it doesn't work out, I'm definitely going to I'm gonna message that. He last messaged me, Jason, last night at 10, around 10 p.m. We said goodnight. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't message me all day. So yeah. I finally messaged him, like, maybe an hour ago and said, hey, just wanted to confirm for tomorrow. And if so, what time? And that's it. And... It hasn't shown that he's seen my messages. Yeah, you can uh, see if he read the messages, but maybe you can manipulate that somehow. I don't know. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna message him right now. Okay. At all. I'm not gonna message him again. Like even tomorrow, I'm just gonna let it go. Because if he doesn't message me by tomorrow, obviously, he doesn't want to talk to me. I mean, that's and then I'll just block him. Probably. You know. He better not be like the Italian guy who friggin' ghosts me and then messages me like with a friggin' crappy one liner. Ugh. I seriously hate I, I hate men right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so annoying. That it's so annoying. The the text not texting back right. You know what? I'm gonna update my profile. If you don't text me back right away. Oh, okay, well that's the food coming. No, not him. Fun. I don't know if I am or not though, that's the thing. Like I am, but I want like fun for me, I guess. Looking for fun for me is you know, just having fun on text too. Like I wanna keep in touch and stuff. I want attention. <laughs> I want attention. Yep. But then, like, the guys who have been giving me attention the most are just... And they start off by giving you all a lot of attention. Like, every single time. Like, they're like, no, 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 and then they ask you for their number. And then they just, like, slowly, like, lose interest or something. I don't know. I do that with a lot of guys, too, though, so I can't really complain. <laughs> Sometimes I go... Remember I blocked the one guy? <laughs> Boink it. We have, we have mac and cheese. Ah, I'm gonna the try food. It on its own, and then I'm gonna try it. Let's catch it. All right. Let's see how... Beige. Oh, I felt like a hard block. Like, look. Here's the, the ketchup. Thank you. Are you gonna go? Do you want me to call you when we're done? You're gonna eat upstairs? Yeah. All right. Bye, Pete. Pete, bye. Sorry, everybody. She's bye. Not nah, bye. Yum. I need to catch up. That looks like a twisty. They forgot my oh. diet coke. Full, full sugar. How do you get rid of the blues? Wheat cheese fries. No, I'm just joking. Don't do that. Anyway. 
He's like super cheesy. Looks very cheesy. So good. Is it? Okay. I did order the Pepsi. They didn't give it to me. Mm. You have an upset piece. No, not at all. He just said. The pickles are like bread and butter. What is this? Is this cornbread? I think that's a biscuit. It's very good. Mm. This is the best cornbread. Makes sense with the okay, chicken, let's try the right? tenders. <laughs> I'm forgetting all about my problems here. No. The tenders oh. look like they're weird. Like homemade. I don't know if that's healthy, but okay. I hope they're not raw in the center. Uh, this I'm is their sure homemade sauce. Need a bite? Mm, thanks. Mmm. Creamy. Hi, sweet vintage Zoe. Love burnt. That actually tastes really good. I have things I really want to do with my future. I just have to put them into plan and then work towards it. Yeah. But then I also feel like all the should I just take life on a whim? No. You know? No. And, not all right. At all. Um, my garbage bag is here. No. Don't Sorry, do that. Guys, I really like the like the person who the binger in me. It, it's weird throwing out food, and then the person like who feels bad that I'm wasting food when they're starving people bothers me so this i really hate doing this but i'm doing it because i'm not gonna eat that again <laughs> it won't be good reheated and it's I mean, not the healthiest thing so i kind of want to try to eat something healthier tomorrow why did you order it so but i hate cooking i hate it like i just hate it lately i don't know why because i hate this i can't focus on shit like i don't know what's wrong with me my mind is just chaotic like i need something for my anxiety to calm me down i don't know what's going on should i throw away these pickles yes maybe you see no, someone keep the pickles. maybe you go see but, someone Talk to someone. The sauces too, they're so good. Maybe I'll keep them. No, should I keep the sauce? They're probably probably full of fat, right? Uh, Screw the sauce. There you go. Screw the pickles. Okay, well there we have it. That was uh the post facial stream and Nashville chicken and chat condensed to like ten percent of the actual content. What do I think? Well, like I said, it's a shame we didn't get the facial early on because I would have appreciated some skincare with Chantal. Instead, I had to supply my own. Um, the food looked awful. Still questioning that comment about the health, but sure. Also, still questioning this whole escapade in general, considering everything that's going on. Um, don't think it's a relatively good idea, but uh, just wanted to take today with a little bit of lightheartedness. So I hope that you enjoyed. Anyway, if you got to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. And I'll see you in the next video and or live stream. Bye!